Gabby and Val, Charlie and Mark. Who is going to take home the Mirrorball? After 10 weeks of intense competition, it's time for the final result. The winners and new champions of Dancing with the Stars are... Charlie and Mark! Gabby and Val, fantastic job making it this far. You guys were incredible. Hey guys, so that was the moment where Charlie Domenico and Mark won Dancing with the Stars last night. Aren't they happy? They're rejoicing. What an achievement. Now, this was on Disney+, Plus, and I, I don't get Disney+, Plus. I just managed to find the clip. Do you get Disney+, Plus? It's expensive, isn't it, buying all this TV? What's interesting about this win, though, is that social media is not particularly happy about the fact that Charlie D'Amelio won, and it does bring up an interesting topic. On your screen now are some of the tweets that are floating around Twitter as people both congratulate Charlie and some of them have um, less than congratulatory things to say. And some of them make interesting points, such as the fact that Charlie D'Amelio has been dancing competitively for 10 years. She's also a huge star on TikTok, as I'm sure all of you know. And it brings up that question, was it a fair competition, right? Because Dancing with the Stars, when you think about it, it involves professional dancers and celebrities coming together to dance together, and obviously some of those celebrities will not be very good dancers and will certainly not really know how to dance at all. Uh, that would be me. If I had to do a show like that, I really, I really can't dance, but I'm not a celebrity, so they're not going to come calling, let's be honest. Do you think it's fair? Let's say they did a show similar to this, but it was called, you know, um, Celebrities Become Comedians, and it was for celebrities to learn how to become comedians, and the competitors were some newsreaders, some actors, and then one of the competitors was Chris Rock. Well, obviously, uh, Chris Rock stands a very good chance of winning that, because he's already a comedian, he's been doing it for many years. So you get my point. Or it's a bit like, you know, them doing, I don't know, America's Got Talent, and a really famous person like Ed Sheeran saying, well, I'm going to enter this year and see if I get through. You get my point. Is it fair? Is it not fair? I mean, to be honest with you, it's a silly show at the end of the day. I'm sure Charlie D'Amelio more than deserves to win. But I do think that the odds were kind of stacked against everyone else because she's already a very good dancer. She knows exactly what she's doing. I'm not trying to take anything away from the fact that some of the dances she did were obviously incredibly technical and incredibly difficult. But I'm just saying... Did she have an edge over everyone else? Because the main thing on social media is seeing is no one is at all surprised that she won. Which does take a bit of the excitement out of the show. So I don't know who they're going to have next, whether they'll be caring about this kind of feedback. Who knows? But she's won. And now she'll go back to dancing on TikTok for a change. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.